Dear Lord, thank you for the eternal hope that you have given me, the promise that this life is not all that you have in store for me. Thank you for providing for me now and for all eternity. Hallelujah. Help me to never lose sight of your provision. Amen. In this season, there are so many of us, um, including myself, now my precious pastor and his family who just lost his mother this past Sunday and we just lost our papa two Sundays ago, two weeks ago and um, there's many other that are going through so much sickness, illnesses, cancer, um, the flu epidemic, um, there's just so much hurt pain and sorrow and grief um, it's just a very cold wintry season this January and um, <laughs> it's not looking like um, it's been a super duper happy new year this 2018 but we know the God who holds our future the God who holds our tomorrows the God of all eternity so we as believers, we have to keep our eyes and our heart fixed on Him, Jesus Christ, our blessed hope. Amen. I just wanted to bring a few beautiful scriptures of God's promises for us while the boys are jumping on the trampoline. Um, just pick them up from school. Micah from his school, Ethan from his school, and if it's sunny, out I always um, want to give them between 30 minutes to an hour to jump on the trampoline with the neighborhood neighborhood kid so um, they're having fun right now and I'm just sitting out here in a car and I wanted to um, bring the promises of God to you to me to who I needed to uplift us uplift our countenance give us hope and strength to endure and persevere amen so let me get started here why art thou cast down O my soul and why art thou disquieted within me this is where I've been when Papa passed two Sundays ago for that first week and a half um, there is just not much sounds of praise songs of praise coming out of my heart my spirit naturally um, I was pretty quiet I was sad I was you know just like any one of you out there um, that loses someone unexpectedly someone that's so special that you love that you respect and honor and you weren't ready for it you know I don't think any of us are really ready for death but um so but it's very helpful and a blessing to see Nana, to see Chris, Tim, and Jen so strong in their faith, holding each other up, um, holding one another up in prayers and in, in love. And um, many of you guys that are watching this video, you were all there for us, prayed for us. And so I just want to bring... Um, the Word of God, our nourishment, the bread of life, to um, nurture us, nurture us a bit in this season. For I shall yet praise him. I skipped a line. Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. That's Psalm 42 11. God is the health of our countenance. He's our praise, he's our God, he's our hope, our inheritance, amen. Who by him do believe in God that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory that your faith and hope might be in God. Our faith and hope is in God, amen. For those of us that are born again in Christ Jesus, our hope, our strength are in God. And that's First Peter one twenty one. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, 
be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. 1 Peter 1 13. Let me read that again. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. And that day is coming soon. Amen. I really believe that with all my heart. And I cannot wait. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure so if we have this hope in us our hope purify us even as he is pure amen so it's very important that we have hope in our god first john 3 3 the wicked is driven away in his wickedness but the righteous hath hope in his death amen Proverbs 14 32 death is just the beginning of newness of eternal bliss in the presence of God and his holy angels death is gain to us amen to live is Christ to die is gain amen so Papa has gained his eternal bliss his eternal inheritance which is God Almighty himself he's in the presence of God and the angels worshiping the Lord Jesus and the Father around their throne saying holy 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 and one day we will be with him and our loved ones who's gone before us who's been faithful to the Lord Jesus Christ who's loved and served him with their whole hearts and lives we will join them amen and that's our living hope all my hope on God is founded he doth still my trust renew me through change and chance he guideth only good and only true God unknown he alone calls my heart to be his own all my hope on God is founded by Hakim Neander. For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, that's a loud truck. For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, whereof ye heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. This is why we must get the gospel of Jesus Christ out to the world, to the uttermost parts of the earth, amen? Because the gospel of Jesus Christ is hope and people need hope, people need peace. People need to know that there is a living God that loves them eternally, that has nothing but goodness for them, that has the kingdom of heaven for them, amen? That there is hope in Jesus Christ. This is why I make these videos, to get the word of the living God out, to point people to the God of hope. I was once hopeless, but it was the gospel of Jesus Christ preached at the Thailand refugee camps when I was about seven years old. It was the first time I heard about the living Savior, the only Savior of the world, and my hopeless, destitute heart had hope. And I put my hope and trust in him then, even though I did not know him. So don't underestimate the power of the word of God. It is hope to a hopeless and dying world. Amen. And they need, they need to know him. They need to hear about him. And it's up to us as the children of the most high God to be his witnesses, to testify, to declare and prophesy the word of the living God because it is life it is hope amen and that was Colossians 1 5 for the hope which is laid up for you in heaven whereof ye heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel hallelujah which is Christ in you the hope of glory there you go we are the hope of glory Christ in us and we have to let Christ out of us amen so others can hear about him know about him and receive him amen that's colossians 127 i get excited talking about the lord <sighs> who else is there worthy to talk about he is glorious he is magnificent flawless marvelous perfect holy wonderful amazing 
beautiful in all of his ways and he is so so good why wouldn't you be excited sharing about God amen <laughs> amen be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart all ye that hope in the Lord be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart all ye that hope in the Lord Psalm 31 24 for thou art my hope O Lord God thou art my trust from my youth I put my trust and my hope in Jesus Christ at the Thailand refugee camps when I was seven years old through an evangelist that preached about the Savior that hung on that horrific cross I didn't know him but the Spirit of God was drawing me to him then and because I didn't have anything and I didn't have anyone else I didn't have any parents I lost my homeland I lost everything I had nothing to hope in so I made up my mind at that moment as I stared at the Savior's face hanging on that horrific cross with blood just streaming down and I saw the agony in his suffering I saw the agony in his eyes it was like we looked at each other spirit to spirit and he captured my attention and the Spirit of God spoke to me to my young tender heart my broken desolate hopeless heart that I could put my trust and my hope in him because he understood and I did I gave my heart to the Lord I took it back later on as a teenager out of hurt and anger and confusion and rage because of all the devastation and the um, tragedies that I had faced um, I deemed God as untrustworthy and unreliable and um, I was angry with him and I ran from him for almost a decade but in his mercy he kept on pursuing me unrelentlessly he pursued me he never gave up gave up on me he kept on calling me to himself and finally I surrendered when I was 25 years old I surrendered it was either that or death and I surrendered to the love of God he showed up showed up and called me to himself and offered me new life in Christ and I accepted it and to this day that's 1998 almost 20 years ago Wow this September this year will make it 20 years since I've responded and accepted the invitation of my Heavenly Father my Savior to an abundant and eternal life in Christ what a journey not one dull moment I, I if you're looking for excitement if you're looking for oh my gosh um, fulfillment and um, growth and unlimited potential <laughs> um, in Christ in heavenly riches in growth in the knowledge and grace of Jesus Christ and his kingdom get in covenant relationship with the living God he will guide you lead you grow you shape you mold you challenge you there is never a dull moment <laughs> walking with God on this faith journey. There's nothing like Him, no one like Him, no love like Him, no relationship like Him, no promises out there, no worldly riches, gains of any sorts that can compare. He is faithful and true. He is our Father. He's our God, our King, our Healer, our Redeemer our rich inheritance, our hope. Amen. I'm not even finished yet. Let me go ahead and finish this up. He is our Lord God, our hope. Thou art my trust from my youth. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Thank you, thank you, Lord. That's 1 Peter 1, 3. Lay hold on the hope set before you and let not a moment be lost. The Savior has purchased your ransom. Jesus has purchased you by his 
shed precious holy blood to himself. You belong to Christ. Amen. The Savior has purchased your ransom, but think what a price it hath cost. You and I and the entire world of humanity have cost the life of the Son of God. His pure and holy blood shed for us. That's how much He loves us. That's how much God the Father loves us. Thank you, Lord. And this is the hope that we have in God. And that was by Fanny Crosby. She's an amazing writer. The hope set before you. Keep your eyes on Jesus Christ, our hope, our blessed hope. Amen. God bless you. I love you. Put on some praise and worship music and just bask in his presence and think of 10, 15, 30 things that you could just silently praise him for and thank him for and sing to him. When you have strength, just sing to him and pray in the spirit at all times. And if you don't have the strength, just lay there in your bed, sob and cry out to him. He understands. Let him hold you. Let him cradle you. Let him nurse you back to health, to life, to joy, to peace, to strength. Amen. May, we, may the Spirit of the Lord be upon you. God bless you.